Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, bro. No Zion case gets closed this weekend, bro. Everything's getting open. What's up, man? Um, we out, we out here at Burbank. We're looking for that round of squizzit. It's not here. <laughs> Every show we find something. We're going in the, this is like going into a Warrior game at Oracle Arena. Sheesh. Would you? Oh, Eagles, bro. What What's are we up, G? What's the score? Eagles minus one and a half. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Burbank Card Show Day 1. Got my coffee, I got my slabs. We're gonna set up this weekend. I brought everything. And when I'm telling you everything, I mean everything in this Scion case. I brought my Brady's, my Pele, all my mantles. Everything I have in my inventory wheelhouse, I wanted to bring to this show because this show and Dallas Card Show, it's a different animal. And I think this is gonna be a really big show to, to sit at the table and deal. So that's what we're gonna do today. We got good vibes, good energy. There's good security here. And uh, we're ready to roll, so it's gonna be a good weekend. We're gonna try to wheel and deal. I'm really gonna try to sit at the table this weekend and, and get a lot of deals done. Cheers. Hey, where are we, uh, where are we set up? <laughs> I asked him where we're set up. Guys, never check your emails. Never check. I-31. <laughs> uh, I-31. The guy makes it happen, bro. Dynasty mode. Filipino card investor. Ooh. <laughs> oh, just security of not. Oh, okay, I got you. Thank you. Enjoy. Yeah, thank you, man. All right, I thirty one. Wow, it's so easy. Look at this. Maybe, maybe not. I got so listen, I took I took yesterday off. I usually go to a show. This is something different. I went to the Laker game yesterday. I usually come to the show. I go to trade night the first night. Go crazy. See what the show looks like. I came here for five minutes yesterday and then shot to Slab Exchange. We went to the Laker game, PWCC, uh, Magpie. We all went to the Laker game last night. Pretty cool stuff. I'll throw some of that footage in here actually. It took some cool clips. Got to walk on the court, shot a Shaq logo man. We're on the Lakers court post game. This is so cool. My first Laker game ever. We're at the show now. Let's go find our table. I gotta add like sound effects to everything. Morning, Jack. Yeah, how you doing? What's up? 34. Three, here it is. Ooh, 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 ooh. We got a no handle on this, but this thing's gonna get it done, baby. This is where all the heat is. So we oh neighbors? my god, is that full watch? We're neighbors. We're neighbors. California and Florida. What's up, man? Yeah, how are you doing, bro? Uh, there he is. Wait, so where do I, where's the Zion cases spot? It's on the back, like straight to the back. Boom. What do I go get our case? How are you doing, man? I was going to wear your sweatshirt today. Dude, I wish you would. Did you bring it? Yeah, I'm going to wear it tomorrow. Okay. I'm going to rep it tomorrow. Okay. That'd be cool. I'd love it. If you use it, you'll get 10% off on whatnot. You'll use the whatnot code. I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, before we go, Eagles or Chiefs, who you got? Oh, I got to go with What's up? You know, just talking this out, you know, finding finding cards that are two dollars, like there's no there is no better feeling than finding a two dollar card that's worth ten to fifteen and it's based off of you're 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 going against yourself here. It's your own you're your own competition when you're in the when you're in these boxes. I mean you could find the, the like I found a Kyle Trask rookie auto in there. Uh, for thirty dollars, and it's worth you know about eighty-five. Like that's such a good, just like, and you know, you don't. It doesn't matter what they have into it. They're putting these out there. My my take on it is go as fast as you can, right? You go flip through. Like, look at this, Robert Quinn. You know he was solid, but is it worth two bucks? Probably not. You know, going through, going through, flying through. Right, Kyle Pitts, two bucks. These are all Kyle Pitts. If you're a huge Kyle Pitts guy, or if you're doing a signing with Kyle Pitts, this would probably be a good spot to get him. Michael Carter. Michael Pittman, clearly authentic. That's like a five dollar card. Uh, Juju. Oh, I got my mind going right when I think of 07 tops, I think of Brady. When I think of you know 07, 08 basketball, I'm thinking of Durant. You know stuff like that. Kyle Trask, right? That's a blue variation. What's up, man? Yeah, Tell it, What up, What's brother? Good, man? Flip the camera. Look at all these people. My man. You're the one that gave me the Kings card. What do you think of these yeah. boxes? I think they're sick. This is my first card show too, so first card show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And like, there's deals, right? Yeah, there's my dad's been collecting for like 
20 years and he just told me this is the best spot to be at and just hang out and talk to people and just hear what they're collecting so it's a good time yeah <laughs> bro there's nowhere like this where everybody needs to win everybody's working together there's strength in numbers and cards i'm telling you right now this is not only the year of collaborations this is the year where like the card community unites man you're never gonna find a place as good as this hobby where people are happy having a good time and people can say oh the card market oh grading oh there's too much of this you know what the experience is what you make it. Have fun, enjoy the hobby while it's here. Go, if you wanna grade with PSA, go grade with PSA. You wanna grade with Becky, go grade with Becky. You wanna, whatever you wanna do, whatever your, no, but there's no cookie cutter way to collect sports cards and how to do that. Just enjoy it and have fun. The worst thing to do is to complain and not participate. Tell me what's going on here. Uh, yeah, so these are our value boxes, what we call them. Uh, we have it all priced anywhere from a dollar to $10 a card. So, you know, pink, a dollar, yellow, two, blue, five, red, 10. Um, the way we price these is like a $10 card. It could be anywhere between 11 and 14, and we price it at 10. Right? And then the same thing with fives. With fives, if it's anywhere from six to nine, we price it at five. And then, like, how long does it take you guys to price all this, you think? Uh, uh, someone joked that it only took us like 10 hours. I would say, oh, I'll probably add like a maybe zero to that at least. It's at least 100 hours of work. 100 hours of work. At and least. like, what's the goal here? Like, you want people to get good deals. Like, you're not trying to. Yeah. I want people to get good deals. Like, because we have a shop out in Vegas. So, like, we're able to. The margins on these is ridiculous. And then, basically, with this amount of stuff, it covers basically the boost space cost, which is insane. With how much we bring out. I'm here for it, bro. We're gonna be here for a while. Yeah. And when I was in Dallas, ask him, bro, we spent eight hours in one person's thing. Yeah. So I mean I, I mean we've had people because we have these out in the shop too. Yeah. Like at our shop, every day of the week you can come in and look through these boxes. Wow. And I've had someone at the shop come in in the morning when we opened at ten and they left when we closed at seven. And you guys probably get that a lot. Yeah, we get it we get it quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. I like it, man. I love what he does. I remember he uh, DM'd me on Instagram, bro. He was stoked. Yeah. He like showed all of us. Yo, things. Zach, if you're watching this, your brother's a beast, bro. Yeah. Happy birthday, man. Since I left you guys in the morning, I've been waiting and it is left. There you go. Happy birthday, man. Appreciate it. I got you. Thank you. Yeah, of course, bro. Come back to hey man, Mojo. thank you, bro. Yeah. Bro, he found also, this in the box. Thank you. Mojo, right? Yeah. That's sick. I'm gonna buy it. That's cool. Who do you like? Lakers. Lakers. <laughs> Yo, so I do want to tell you guys, like, I run a lot of these at a dollar on whatnot. Whatnot's my favorite place. You guys hear it all the time. These are some of the best boxes, man. Even if you haven't, like, I was, I'm gonna emphasize something this year. I would try out whatnot this year. I'm a seller on there. You can auction stuff at a dollar. Hey, don't you go to the, aren't you on whatnot? Sure. Hey, right here, this guy. Right this here. This guy buys for me every single week on whatnot. Trusted seller, baby. You're And you're on there too selling? Yeah. No. Or are you just buying? I'm just supporting when, you. Bro. When are you going to start selling? Soon. 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 See that? So you check it out. If you use my link, you'll get your first $10 spent on whatnot. A little, you know, cheesy promotion. A little jersey number for oh, you. Look at that. Sick. DeMarcus Cousins. To prove I'm on there. Oh my gosh, dude. The Megan Fox one of one. <laughs> dude, this is my crush for a long time, bro. Transformers. Yeah. Oof. Bro, this is the one of one. My high school crush right here, dude. Yeah, and that was the proof. I got extras of these if you want to hand them out, too. Oh, no. Those are all you, man. Okay. Dude, thank you, bro. You and your big slabs. Dude. Okay. Hello? This show's mm -hmm. popping, yo. This is crazy. Of course, it's beautiful. Are you a Chargers guy? Yeah. I, I'm more players, but yeah. Yeah. This slap's huge. He gave me 12, 100, and this Luke out of 10. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Hells yeah, bro. Sorry. Bro, he just had the Justin Herbert 10-10. I told him, listen, like, Value it at two, you get offered two, that's great. If you don't, it's better, because if you if you value it at 15, you're gonna get offered one to 12. If you value it at 15, you're getting offered 1,000 to 1,200 at this show. You all, you value it at 2,000, you're gonna get 15 to 18. Mojo. Where's Rogers going? Rogers is going to the Jets. Going to the Jets? As long as he gets out of the yes. NFC North. 
He said let's go to the Jets. He said Raiders, bro. They have a trading card. Hit me up. Hit me up. Bro, this guy just came over here and he just gave me the Demarcus Triple jersey, the blue auto out of 30, 25. And then this is crazy. I've never, I actually don't own this card. The green patch out of five, bro. And who do you collect? Uh, kind of everything. I'm more into Jaw, Luca, Kobe. You said you're buying Kyrie right now? My guy. My guy's buying Kyrie. Yeah. What's, the, what's the move with Kyrie? Yeah, that's the GOAT right there. Oh. That's my, my GOAT. That's all I collect, bro. He's a, hey, JD's a huge Dallas Mavericks fan. Yeah. Oh, are you happy or not? Yeah. That's music. Go all right, I got to ask you. I'm a Kings fan. We got Dallas I'm sorry. and I'm sorry. Phoenix. That's all I got to say. What do you I'm think? What, do you, what are we thinking here? Dallas and Phoenix? Who, what do you mean? What was the bigger surprise? Was the Dallas or Phoenix I trade? Think Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix. That was Phoenix. insane. All right, who's winning the West? All right, I gotta stick with Jaw. It's Jaw. Jaw's gonna get it. Jaw's getting it. What do you think? I don't know. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with, with go with the Suns. So why are you buying Kyrie? Because I've been a fan of his since before I started playing basketball. Okay. So he's been watching him since like high school. Yeah, he, he's the reason I started playing. I mean, I don't play no more, but I, I feel like you could throw up like 20 dimes, bro. Like Steve Nash. Good. He was good when he was yeah. playing. He was good. Yeah. If you could compare yourself tired. one player, who would you be? Uh, probably like Dragic. Drog Is it Dragic? Goran Dragic. Goran Dragic. Yeah. <laughs> he gave me his gave me his shoes. Uh, tw oh, dude, like, that's dude when I was a senior Fire. in high school, bro, like, Dragic comes or... off the court, hands me the shoes. That's Unbelievable. Great. That's clean. Dragic yeah. or Ginobili? Okay. Fire. Ginobili with the left. That's right. I'm lefty. I'm lefty. So let's go. Dude, that's cool meeting you guys, bro. Yes, sir. Nice meeting nice you, man. Vibes, man. Yes, sir. It's good stuff, bro. Thank you, bro. There's a lot of people there. I'm with a PSA authenticated uh, back. Uh, oh, yeah. Drew Brees. Look at this. Drew Brees. This is my, up my alley, bro. In person autographs. Look at this. PSA authenticated this form. Drew Brees, 2015 Prism. You got the Joker. Joker. Couple of Montanas. It's good stuff, bro. Oh, yeah. Mm. How do you feel? You like them? I like them. I Are love these PC. Them. Yep, PC. PC. Actually, I'm here to move a little bit. Of Ooh, yeah, yeah. Move some and keep some. That's oh, the move. There you go. Yeah. You, you sell yeah. something so you can keep. That's right. That's right. All right. Lean it. Uh, I gotta call them. I'm just gonna buy all this. Take a chance. Two bucks. Some of these are ten. Do we? Okay. You know what? Let's. We. We absolutely. Had a great time at these boxes. Found some cool stuff. Luke Skywalker, you. Buster Posey numbered. Buster Posey, rookie of the year. Shout out to Max Muncy. Max, you know we're buying you, bro. Max is a collector. Hit him up on Instagram. Max is a beast, and uh, I'm buying his cards. So, Max Muncy, not the one on the Dodgers, the prospect. Right here. Massive deal. I mean, this, I. it's been so long. I forgot we were even buying this, DeMarcus Cousins. I've known DeMarcus since he was a rookie, so anytime I find his cards, it just it hits, man. Yeah. Tutu Atwell, Drake London, I like him a lot. Jericho Sims played pretty well with the Knicks, had a couple of really good games. LeBron just broke the record, that's a game use jersey card. This is sick, I might give this to my boy. Hey, shout out to Matt Overton, if you're a Cowboys PC. Kyle Trashmaster, this is cool. Greg Popovich, Blue Prism, this is Greg Popovich, just like few Prism cards or whatever you wanna call it, out of 199. Someone has the two one of one black Prisms of this card up for $150,000 on eBay. If that's you watching this video, I hope I can own those one day. There's two variations. Tutu Atwell, RPA, and then de uh, 20 bucks for an RPA, Devin Dotson. He's in the G League right now, but man, he could be a Sacramento King. All right, I'm gonna add these up. I'm gonna guess this stack is gonna be added up sticker at 400, but we'll find out. That was just an estimation. 50, 20, hey Kyle, 45, your, uh, multi -bat card. Uh, 30, 600. 30, 35. Are you watching me? Uh, I am watching. 20, 45. 40, 45. Oh, I'm close. Oh, what did I say, 400? Mm -hmm. so, so close. 435. Sticker, I said sticker was gonna be four. Uh, the LeBron, let's take it out, now it's four. 
So this adds up 435. What do you got there? We got 140 here on the entire stack. Sticker price. All right. And so what are we at total wise? So you're at 575. Know where I want to be. Where would you like to be? You said it's 575. 575. All right. Here's the deal. You type the number in the calculator that you want to be, and I'm going to type the number I want to be at, and we'll show it at the same time. The don't show me yet. The sticker says 575. Yeah. All right. All right. All right, all right. I'm going to show him, and then no, don't show me. Don't show me. Show him. All right now. Show him. All right. Three. All right. Ready? Here, look. We'll do it at the same time. Scoot back. All right. Three, two, one, go. Okay. No way. What is it? 460 and 450. That's pretty good. What, all right, what do you want to do? Split, split the difference. 455. 455. That was close. Every time I've done that flip the calculator, it's pretty like yeah. we're close. So that's good. All right, that's it. It's a deal. If you guys are ever in Vegas, hit them up. Dark Star at Games LV. Dark Side Games LV, Dark Side Sports LV. If you got your Pokemon and Magic, come by Dark Side Games. That's our TCG store. And if you have any sports cards, Star Wars, Marvel, hit us up at the sports store. Yeah. Cool. 455. It's a deal. Thank you, man. For sure, brother. Let's go. Chin of Fani. Oh, some 74s, some uh, Washington variations. So these, instead of the Padres, they thought they were moving to Washington. So they made a few cards and then pulled them. So they're pretty good. Yeah, nice. a little bit older. Nice. He's got new stuff there too. Yeah, stoked to be here. Yeah, I am, I am too. I've been wanting to come to the yeah. Burbank Card Show for a minute. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's just really, it's just really awesome to see like this kind of. All right. Appreciate it, man. We have a good one. We all buy. Oh, okay. Can you bring it here, or are you take it no. with you? Yeah, we take it with us. Three dollars. Ever be a comp more recent? Yeah. That card seems like something I thought I'd seen around auction. What you do on the? Yeah. Stack of nines on the Ichiro. Stack of nines on the Ichiro, and one of my favorite players growing up, Rajon Rondo. All the fake passes and stuff. Yeah. Super cool. Nice. to Roseville for some donuts. There we go. Hey, it's Granite Bay. Oh, Bill's okay. Donuts, bro. Right my, outside Roseville. Place, Granite Bay, bro. You got to. You got to. So everyone knows Jay's dad as Bill from Bill's Donuts. But what they don't know is he loves fruit. This guy eats more fruit than anyone I've ever met in my life. What do you say? He goes through like 20 clementines in like three days. My dad eats 20 clementines in three days. It's crazy. It's, it's not. It can't be healthy. Um, I got this for you. You have that one? Yeah, this is your PC. Yeah, I have two of them. Are you sure? Yeah. It's a rookie. Yeah. I think I actually don't have this. Nikola Vucevic for the 2012 Prism set. Fun fact about Vucevic. So the card is a magic card, right? But he's wearing the Sixers uniform. People don't know he was drafted by the Sixers. We actually traded him for Andrew Bynum, who never played a game for the Sixers. He then retired. You guys, <laughs> there's a sick Utah card show. I am not going, but he's the one putting it together. I am not going to this card show, but if you're in Utah, you should come to this card show because he's a good friend of mine. All-Star Weekend, the show is five minutes from the venue where the All-Star Game is. It's gonna be pretty cool. Check it out. That bro. was that was guys, an epic proportion. Guy, look, this guy's like the biggest Laker fan, right? We got to go on the court last night for the Lakers. And LeBron LeBron accepted the, you know, the scoring leader. Yeah. yeah, he honored him on the same court we were on last night. It's crazy. That was the thing. most incredible night as a Lakers fan that I got to experience. Yeah, it was so, crazy, bro. And it's thanks yeah. to this guy. No, dude, thank you. You're the man. Last Remember time I was with him, the dollar boxes in Dallas, loaded. Amazing. It's unreal. We need some more. I know. Those guys are coming back to Dallas in March. Are they? Yeah. 
we gotta we gotta take them down. Yeah. We're gonna take all the boxes. That was one of the best finds ever. Yeah. Uh, who do you got for Super Bowl? The Chiefs. Chiefs. Yeah. I, lo I love the Eagles. I'm probably cheering for the Eagles. I think the Chiefs got it. Yeah. I'm here for it. Yeah, dude. Yeah. For sure, man. Yeah. I brought this. See, there's soccer guys. What's up? Pele. There you go. We got their eye. <laughs> so, listen, guys. I got, I got this on you know eBay right now. It's a beautiful card. This is a Pele on card autograph. I mean, it looks like a little private signing. Very nice card here. I might. I was always people ask me if I want to cross it. I might, but you know, JD asked me what did I bring that I don't usually bring. Brady, 2011 jersey auto, the Pele auto. We just picked this up, which I brought. This Reggie White, we talked about that last time. We brought a bunch of Mantles. These are great cards. Game used, Brady's, he just retired. Super shocked. But I really wanna see if I can move these this weekend, make some moves on these. And then Kevin Durant, people are buying his stuff right now, which is pretty crazy. I've had this for a little bit. 0708 SPX 9510 autograph of KD. You guys have seen me. I usually kind of buy from the table, doing all that. In here, I didn't even show this. So, this is crazy. I picked this up. 58 Mantle PSA 2. One of my favorite cards to pick up. That's seven Mantles. And then this is crazy. I picked this up in a deal right before Burbank. It's a 1960 Topps Willie Mays autograph. Beckett 8. This card signed. The card raw. It's like a four or $500 card. I know it's cracked up a little bit, but this is Willie Mays signing a, a card 63 years old. Willie Mays is the say hey kid, one of the best. So I had to pick this up. I'm really getting into the, you know, I know people say buy vintage. I'm into the autograph world. So this is pretty, pretty good for me. Like I'm very happy about this pickup. And me being from the memorabilia background, it, it just makes so much sense to buy stuff like that when I can. And this is pretty cool. I picked up this Debo Samuel tag actually right before Burbank another pre Burbank pickup and that's a on-field tag right there five of ten I wish it was game used but it's not but it's still really cool Debo Samuel's a great player mm. and uh, last but not least kind of this is our show uh, prospects so I only bought three prospects this year Anthony Volpe mm -hmm. Miguel Vargas Jordan Walker and then the Vargas. So I only did three prospects. Sometimes I'll fluctuate and do like 10 or 20, but these are uh, these are some of the prospects I'm getting into. Uh, these are actually the, I have another Volpe purple. Oh yeah. So I got a couple of Volpes. His stuff really boomed out last spring training and then he really hit the, you know, hit it, hit it low. Now, you know, the position's open. So I would love to see Volpe do well. Um, if you guys are buying prospects in baseball, comment down below. Who are you buying right now and why? I have one question for you, Jay. Real opinion on In-N-Out burgers. I've been going to In-N-Out since I was a child. In-N-Out is the best place you can go. What a burger is no good. A nice double-double, some fries, you can get a protein style. You can get a, you know, a water, a pink lemonade. It's better than Whataburger and it's cheap. But you gotta get in and out in California. You can't get in and out in Texas. It doesn't work. So, now what is your take on it? Garbage. Garbage. In and out was the price of Five Guys. People wouldn't fanboy it like they do. Like the only good thing In and Out has going for it is the price. I can't. The burgers are just not good. I don't agree. I think In and Out has a pretty good burger. The texture. <laughs> Everything about it, the cheese, the meat, the fries are terrible. But I like when they when In N Out gets that potato and they throw it in the fry machine and they go, ah. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Sorry, bro. In N Out's better than Five Guys. And if you don't like either of those places, I want you to tell me. What's better than In N Out? Alright you guys, I hope you enjoyed this day one video. Had an absolute blast. Oh. Favorite slab cases to bring to card shows. If you use my link in the code Mojo10, you'll get ten percent off your slab case. You don't want to miss out. We'll see you for day two. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.